My name is Cherie, and I'm doing an interview for my school. What's your name, Jim? My name is Cherie, and I'm going to interview you, Tim. And um, this is going to be in my movie. Okay, is that okay with you? It's going to be in my movie. Is that okay with you? Sure. Okay, Tim. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm 61, almost 62. March 1st, I'll be 62. I'm out here homeless, jobless. What else can I say? Okay. Um, Tim, let me ask you. Well, Tim or Jim? Tim with a T. Tim with a T. Okay, Tim. Uh, do you keep up with politics? No, ma'am. I don't. I don't vote, you know, so. To me, they're all the same. You know, they're going to tell you anything to get the vote, then they'll change it. Okay. Tim, are you from Atlanta or are you from another state? Another state, Florida. Okay. And how did you get here and how long have you been Atlanta? In Atlanta. Well, I've been here in Little Five Point since 1992. Back when I was in the Army, I was stationed at Fort Benning doing my uh, jump school, and I came here on the weekend. That was back in the 70s. So. Okay. And when you came here, so um, you were in the military when you came to Georgia from Florida, and you were in Fort Bennett. Um, when did you become homeless by any? A little after 92. Uh, what led to that, if you don't mind? Being dumb. Didn't plan for old age. Didn't think I might make it this age. So I didn't save any money. Didn't, make, you know. Did you think that being in the military, they would have your back when you got out? Did yeah, you I, retire with the military? How did that go? Well, I messed it up. I kept going to AWOL, so they kicked me out. To be honest about it, I kept being, um, what they call absent without leave. Mm -hmm. I'd get a weekend pass, and I wouldn't go back to maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. And they finally decided to court martial me, but I was back during the Nam area, so they was bringing everybody out of Nam. So they did what they call a Chapter 11, which means you and the military service are not compatible; you don't get along. So they gave me a general discharge, but then because of my AWOLs, they put it under bad conduct conditions, so that negated any benefits. You know, out here is my panhandling. How do people treat you? Like I'm homeless, you know. A lot of people ignore me and other people help me out. Okay. It's a growing city, but like every other growing city, there is problems within that city. So as people, we're so busy and infatuated worrying about our own everyday issues when there's issues in the world around us. Do we seek to change these issues or do we wait until they come closer to our home and affect us?